guys. We've got the absolute peak of the day during the week to take off. Right in the midst of the snapper chaos. Nice and quiet today. Absolutely beautiful conditions. It's going to be lovely all day. And um, today, we're not here to muck around. We're not here to fuck spiders. It's time to get serious. And I'm looking for an upgrade today. Um, I'm after some big fish, hopefully, fingers crossed. Obviously got a few little ones a couple of weeks ago. Once you catch a few, you sort of get over it. I think it's time to get a few big ones on the board. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head out towards Frankston, sort of Frankston, Seaford, um, maybe go as far as Mount Eliza, and just see if we can get away from all the, the little pinkies that have plagued the northern end of the bay, that Black Rock area. Um, so we'll see how we go at the start of the day. It's early morning now, it's just after sunrise. So hopefully it doesn't take too long to get onto them. But if we can't get onto them by the end of the day, that's when we'll resort to the, to the old tactics and, and then maybe head towards our usual marks down in, in Blackrock and see if we can get on the board there. But let's see how we go, shall we? Snapper season has well and truly kicked off. And the one thing snapper fishing in Vic has over everything else is the atmosphere, tradition and excitement it brings to local Melbourne fish shows. Because in terms of natural phenomena, it's the one significant event that occurs in our bays every year. And when that time of year comes along, coming out of winter, the weather's getting better, and just the anticipation of getting out there amongst the crowd and putting your baits out, it makes for a very exciting, wholesome atmosphere. Everyone's on the same buzz. And then there's the anticipation of preparation, getting your gear ready, organising your baits, choosing a region to fish, which bay, Port Phillip Bay or Western Port, whether it's deep or in shallow amongst structure, whether it be a short session straight after work to catch a tide or a storm, or a long patient session where you burly up and wait for the fish to come to you. This is fucking scenes cunt. And it's not always easy finding the fish either, which makes it such a rewarding experience when you do get onto them. And all that makes for a very romantic couple of months for us big fish guys. So I've uh, settled up a few marks here. Nothing overly amazing, but it's the, literally the only thing that I sounded up in the morning. So I'm just going to give it a go. Um, give it a crack for a half an hour or so, and then if we're not getting anything, if we're getting played by pinkies, then we'll move on. So we're bang on where I've marked those fish. Anchored up. Let's get the spread out. Sometimes I love a good solo session on a lovely morning like this. It feels, it just feels a bit different when you bring it home, when you're out on your own. Still got a couple of Western Port setups on my other one, so I might have to change them around. Good and bad, good to see we've got a bit of action, but just like we might be getting smashed by the little ones again, but this time of year Port Villa Bay, it doesn't matter what you do, it's hard to get away from them. And for that reason, I'm actually not burling up. Usually, obviously, you want to burly out for snapper, because there's just so many pinkies around, I think it'll just ruin our day, to be honest. So. Servo pillies are so shit, man. I've got, a, I've got a bag of market pillies in there, but I'm just going to wait for them to thaw out. A long gone are the days when you can go to head to the tackle shop or servo and get some Port Phillip Bay pillies. They were the best pillies ever, man. Give me a bit of hit on the snell there. I think they're just small fish, unfortunately, but you just have to pull through them and you'll eventually get your big one. I'm on. Here we go, first fish of the day. Yeah. Well, what's, what's, the, what's, the, what's the feel like? Nah, it's just a pinky, bro. Yeah, but, but is it legal? I 
I reckon it's really good by the way it's fighting. Fuck, put some live action on that fishing. <laughs> yeah, definitely legal. It's half decent pants like fish. Fucking hectic. Molly's on the phone, by the way, I'm talking to the camera. Little pants size. Molly's live on the on the phone. Life action can't make it to can't make it to <laughs> On the big ones, bro. I don't care about these ones anymore. Oh, yeah. Remember back in the day? Yeah, bro. Back in the day, it's like fucking. We'll take anything. Oh, bro. Times have changed, man. After a few pinkies and some fresh jinx from Maui, I didn't want to waste the opportunity that I had. So I pulled up anchor and headed off deeper. At least that way, I knew I was giving myself the best chance by covering all areas. Is we just got plagued by pinkies. So what I've done is moved out deeper. Well, it's the only way really. Probably decreases our chances a bit because we're sort of in the middle of nowhere. I did see a few little marks before anchoring here. That's what it's about. That's what snapper season's about. Just go out there, try new things. And one day it'll work out. Good things might come to those who wait, but better things come to those who don't. And I had snapper to catch. I've just moved spots. I've literally just anchored. And I think we are on. Oh wow. Baby, that's the one we're after. Shit, my very first aid bag's in the net. You are kidding me. I literally just anchored up here. I lost a bit of hope down deep, came in a bit more shallow. And I'll just, I've, I've had good luck on this particular spot before. I've, I sounded absolutely nothing. There was no marks on the sounder. And I've just dropped the Paternoster rig down the side. And this just happened. Oh, oh fucking oath. Yeah, swallow those hooks. I'm lucky to find me off. Look at that. That is my best fish of the season so far. Absolutely beautiful. It's not my PB. I think mean, this one will be about probably three to four kilo. But that is an absolutely beautiful fish at this time of year. And I am stoked with that. And it's actually been a, quite a few hours since I left in the morning. It's about midday now. And you can, you can lose hope very quickly, but in a split second, that's how things can change. All right, let's see if we can get some more. 
and there is no one here all the boats are down there there's a whole bunch of them down at the wreck there's a whole bunch of them down at black rock i cannot see a boat i literally cannot see a boat around me wow and you know what my paternoster reach see you later the whole bottom section's gone i don't know what's happened to it i'm gonna have to make another one of those because if that worked i'm continuing well, i'm going all out in this spot fellas i'm going all out tied up another paternoster because I don't know what it's I don't know if it ran me into reef or something but the whole bottom section was gone so I'm lucky I didn't lose that fish so I'll drop this down again the other ones haven't got a touch which is weird it's only the paternoster down the side it's weird as well because when I came through here I just stopped because it's it's just the spot I've, I've done my one before and I didn't even sound anything so I'm, I'm in a bit of shock right now to be honest so I'm activating the lighting Throwing the put the pattern off down a few more times and it's just getting smashed by flatties. I think it's just the waiting game with the big baits out the back. Sweet on that far left one, pilly on that one. I'm gonna go whiting on this one. I'm burly up and there's not much else we can do. There's obviously big fish in the area. Uh, we'll see if we can get more, but if we can't, we're more than happy with that one. I don't know if you can see down towards the city. See a bunch of cloud, rain clouds rolling over. So yeah, I might give it another hour. If there's nothing, then I'll be happy to call it a day. What I've noticed the last couple of days is the fish are fat, man. Look, the snappers I've caught the last couple of days, their stomachs were massive. Even that little pinky. I've never seen a pinky with that much of a full stomach, so it must be in a good mood. Flatty. Decent flatty. 80 bucks a kilo, why not? Yeepa. We are fellas. We came with a plan and we executed that plan. So the aim was to obviously avoid all the school fish and get onto a quality fish and that's what we did. So pretty happy with, with today. Safe to say that snapper season is pretty much in full swing. I think you know there's fish getting caught everywhere. In terms of what you want to do, there's so many options like all around the bay. Um, but I do recommend if you do want to get onto something a bit bigger, definitely come down to this side of, of the bay. I think if I went to like Black Rock, that sort of area, you know, you're, get, you're guaranteed to feed a fish, but you're gonna but we wanted a quality fish rather than numbers of fish. We'll hopefully try to get a few more trips in. We'll hopefully try to get another western port session, see if I can break that duck. Yeah, but for now I'm, I'm a happy man. Fucking who's got bags?